The visit, it's well, it's more than just a title, isn't it? Yes, it, it embodies a few things that I've been uh, mulling over for several years. One being that I've often felt that the creative impulse is a kind of visit where it's an energy that sort of embodies your body or in your skill and, and you spin it out. Um, because it's hard to really understand how that creative impulse happens. Um, it's a visit also in terms of it's uh, going back to the earlier influences of the Celts, uh, particularly their ancestors who came from Middle to Eastern Europe. Also, it's a it's a play on the whole concept that this this earthly experience is a bit of a visit, and I suppose that taps into some of the beliefs of earlier cultures, or in maybe not only earlier cultures. There are a number of cultures today that. Um, are connected quite strongly to the concept of reincarnation. And the Celts, for example, they, they felt that perhaps some of their ancestors were uh, reborn into the trees or into salmon or into the raven. And the wonderful upshot of that kind of belief system is that there is a profound respect for all the life around them. Through the river the world runs by To many childhood and up and down the people go, gazing where the lilies flow, round an island there and below, the island of Shalott. I read a headline uh, that referred to you as witchy. Uh, <laughs> uh, just ask my band on a, <laughs> on a bad <laughs> rehearsal day. <laughs> or, I mean, that's the negative side of witchy. The, I would like to think it's kind of more the... Um, uh, well, the mischievous side of witchy, you know. I worked on a project called The Burning Times for the National Film Board, and it was a film, a documentary film, which explored uh, the period of time in Europe when women were burned as witches and trying to understand the whole, uh, the whole concept of a lot of the folklore as well as the, the medicine which uh, was gotten from herbs and... And so they, they dispensed all of that, but it sort of got manipulated and twisted and, and through the course of time. But because of the, the earth religion connection to, to that whole um, culture, that's definitely something that I, I connect very strongly with. And I think there are elements of that re-emerging even within the environmental movements of today. back to that you know that first guitar arpeggio where that bubble okay. dissipates yeah okay this is this scene is Spain in the universe <laughs> I feel I'm just embarking upon uh, a line of so-called work, but it's not work, it's, it's an extension of who I am and what I am and, and things that I believe very strongly. So that music isn't a career, it's not kind of a pastime or it's not a hobby. Or it's, and because of the whole earth, uh, environmental, historical, folkloric, mythological connections that I bring to the music, that there, there are these threads that, that many people are drawn to. Does part of that make you nervous? Does it make me nervous? <sighs> only in only in so far as that people would look to me as 
being any kind of an authority on it. I don't see myself as any kind of authority. <laughs> Critic. <laughs> see, that's, that's exactly. <laughs>